I wanted to take a second to show you this Open Builds black box that I've been playing with this morning. Those of you that watch my channel know that I have a little bit of history with some CNC machines. Some I've built and some that I've bought over the years. And I'm getting ready to do a project where I'm turning my wife's quilting machine into a CNC quilting machine. And so I bought this to control it. So this is your board and your uh, motion controllers all in one. You still need a power supply, which is what this is right here. And I'll link all of these in the description in case you're interested. But I just wanted to take a second to show you this because I was really impressed at how easily this all goes together. I'm also using their software, which is the Open Builds. I don't know if you can really see that. It's the Open Builds Control. And they also have a cam so that you can uh, turn your uh, project into G-code and then you can run it with this control. And it has made the process just really easy. In the past I've used Mach 3 and Mach 4. And now this is not nearly as uh, adaptable as Mach 3 or Mach 4, but it is way easier to use. It's basically all this is just plug and play. So, I mean, I got this black box and within, um, I mean, when I've used Mach 4 bef before and put all these things together myself, you're talking about a, probably a good week of getting all the equipment wired up together and getting the uh, Mach 3 or Mach 4, uh, all the settings done so that you can actually run something. I pulled this out of the box, and here's the box that it comes in. It's got a little QR code here that you can hit that'll give you the instructions for how to uh, set this thing up. But it's basically just plug and play. I've got my server motors here. And let's well, see, that's the back end of it. And you plug those in. So you wire up your servo motors according to the description of you get on your wiring diagram for your servo motors. It shows you right here on the front how to wire them up or what wire is what for the terminals. It comes with all of the plugs that you need on the front and the back. When I bought it, I didn't know if it came with all of those, but it does. It's just USB controlled. Got a little fuse back here. Plug in the power supply. And your USB cord. It comes with the USB cord also. Okay, so I pulled this thing out of the box, wired up my servo motors, and y'all, literally within 30 minutes, I had this thing up and running. So you gotta have your power supply wired up. So basically you're just giving 110 volts to your power supply, and then the 24 volts out to run your black box. You plug in your servo motors, plug in your USB. Let me put a little, let me put a little tape on here so that you can actually see them move. Now I will say, this black box is really kind of loud, but the, uh, I don't know that it's that big a deal because anytime you're running a CNC machine, the CNC machine's gonna be loud. So anyway, here it is. Well, that didn't. Oh wait, didn't have the power, I didn't have the power plugged in, you know. I think I got it, no. There. there. I'm sure you can hear that. Okay, so now I just go over to the control here and I'm just going to give it a little bit of movement. Oh, i got to connect to it. Runs its little check. Alright, here we go. And there you go. I've got movement. You'll want to go online and look at what all these different uh, terminals are for. I'm not going to cover each one of these because it's, it's covered on the website. Not only was this box just one package and everything's in here quick and easy and then it coordinates with the uh, open builds control just like that. You just click the connect button. But this was also uh, cheap, much cheaper than I could have bought all the different components for. So, if you're building a CNC machine, I would certainly uh, look into this black box uh, motion controller system. Uh, look forward to some more videos on, I'm going to cover uh, 
how I convert this machine into a CNC machine. Uh, I think there may be some people out there who are actually like to do this. When I looked out on the internet, there's very little information on how to do that. There's probably not a lot of quilters out there that want to make CNC machines, but maybe their husbands would like to help them do that. So anyway, I hope this was interesting to you. As I said, this all will be linked in the description. Thank you for watching.